Hi guys, um, I'm going to need localization of categories in, in a second, so um, what I wanted to do is I want to make a quick video just to talk about localization in a bit, okay? So um, first I'm, I'm going to bring rings into the picture so we can see that the, what I'm going to say is, is, a, is a particular example. So the definition that I'm going to give specializes to rings. Um, so first... Um, I need to do something. So, so I'm going to define a, a certain category, uh, ring cat. Okay. So this is going to be the um, so this is the category of categories uh, where uh, categories with one object uh, which are additive which are additive. Okay, so here's, so okay, so we just have a category of categories. So in this category, the uh, morphism, so th since we're doing additive, so morphisms here, so these are the objects, morphisms are going to be additive morphisms. Okay, so I'm going to make a claim. So, uh, so the claim is this category of ring categories or whatever, it, it, I claim that this is isomorphic to the category of unital rings, not necessarily commutative. Okay, but they do have an identity. Okay, so let me tell you the idea, the, the, the proof idea between this, this, this correspondence. So proof idea. Okay, so um, so let's take an object here. Uh, let's say C, and this is going to be a, a ring category. So this is a category uh, with one object, uh, which is additive. That's it. So an additive category with one object. And so let's take this thing here to be the unique object. Uh, the unique object in the category. Okay, so then I claim that, um, uh, so HOM, so remember I write HOM as C, so this is HOM from this to itself, so this is a ring. This is in the category of rings. Okay, so let's see what things go. So we already know it's an additive category, so the addition Okay, so the addition here comes from uh, the 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 fact that uh, HOM or that this thing here is in the abelian groups because I said it's an additive category. HOM it's enriched in abelian groups, so this has an addition. So the zero object. Okay, so the zero comes from here. Okay, um, so the multiplication. Okay, so multiplication is just composition. So given F and G in here, then um, uh, F composed with G defines the multiplication. Uh, distributive, distrutiv just, uh, distributivity with respect to addition comes from this, these additive category axioms. Okay, and so the unit, the multiplicative unit, the multiplicative identity, um, comes from the uh, the unit of the star. So there's there's an identity transformation that comes from the axioms of categories, and so this is the um, uh, the identity. Okay, and so you can check, so one can check that uh, these all satisfy. Uh, the ring axioms, axioms, okay, and so um, another thing to check, uh, so the, the next thing to check is that, uh, so we have these objects, so these are the objects, so we, we showed that we had to, had to cook up objects uh, here, okay, so I claim that this is a functor now, so the, the thing where it says, uh, so we have uh, Oh, so this is supposed to be here. This is a 
in there. Okay, so uh, so now I claim this is a functor. So I claim that this map here to the category of rings, given by taking a C to this guy here, this is functorial. Well, since we're using additive morphisms, um, uh, so this is going to say that F, uh, so, so suppose we have two guys, C1 to C2, right? Then this guy here, F will induce a ring homomorphism. Uh, let's say F from, I don't know, if we want to call it, we'll call it F again. Uh, I don't know, maybe we should call this something. Uh, take ring, I don't know. Uh, Decategorify. Okay, D cat F is, is going to be um, uh, going to we're going to get a ring homomorphism from C one to C two. Okay. Okay, so let's recall localization of a ring. Okay, so um, so okay, so let S let R be a ring, S subset of R multiplicatively closed. Okay, and um, we're going to say that a map here of rings uh, localizes uh, S if. Um, so for all, uh, let's say S and S, uh, there exists an R prime and R prime such that um, F S R prime is equal to one. Okay, so so we can do this. Okay, so then we can form a category of localized rings, uh, localizers, I guess. Okay, so the, the category, the objects here, are pairs of F's and R primes, and then morphisms are uh, so let's say let's say F one R prime one to F two R prime two. So these are going to be so what, what, here's our setup. We have F one R prime one R prime two F two. Okay, so they're just going to be maps of rings here, G, that that uh, such that this diagram commutes. Okay, so they're just morphisms in the uh, over category here. Okay, so then um, the claim. Uh, okay, so then the definition. So um, a, the localization of F. Or sorry, localization. Of um, of uh, f at r, or sorry, of uh, of r at s is the pair. And by b, sometimes we abuse, we just say the ring, but it's the pair u uh, r of s, uh, which is initial um, in this category, the category of localizations. Okay, um, so it's the initial object in this category, and when it exists, it's unique up to isomorphism. Okay, so to do this for a category, Right. Well, in in um, in in so localization of a category. Um, okay. 
So to, to localize a category, uh, we're going to do something similar. Okay, so this set S now in, in, in uh, our previous description, S, uh, so given the isomorphism of uh, ring cat with the category of rings, S corresponds to a certain subset of uh, isomorphisms, or sorry, subset of morphisms, uh, or collection of morphisms. Uh, closed under composition. Okay, so um, it's a monoid noid. Okay, uh, <laughs> So, okay, so something like that. So, um, okay, so, um, all right, so we have a, a collection of morphisms uh, under composition, and, um, uh, <laughs> well, what am I doing now? Um, here, I, okay, okay, okay. So let me give you a definition. Okay, uh, let's say let's take C be a category. Uh, S a collection of morphisms. In uh, C, uh, and so and then we can say that it, it's um, uh, closed under composition. Say okay, uh, we don't need to do this. But the definition will, will I mean, the, the construction, what I'm going to do is you, you might as well assume that it's closed under composition or close it under composition. Okay. And we say that uh, a functor, so, so F, uh, so let's say D be a category. Great. Right. Uh, and F be uh, a functor from C to D uh, localizes uh S uh, if um, for all S and S, uh, F of S is an isomorphism. Or let's say is um, yeah, is an isomorphism. So I was going to say a weaker condition here. Okay. So then we form the category of categories. So form category of localizers. And then the localization of C at S is the initial Uh, category, uh, initial object in that category, in that category, if it exists. Yo! Yeah.